Dear students, it is the fourth video about week one and in this video we are going to have discussion about topography or the physical features of Pakistan. Dear students, as you all know that besides the geographical location, the topographical features or the land features play a very vital role in the economy, progress and prosperity of the country. The countries who can, which contain all types of lands and are linked with the world through sea are considered to be the luckiest and above all the more lucky are the nations who possesses different land properties especially if their lands produces food and the season or climate is friendly and exciting. Of course, Pakistan is one of the most fortunate countries who possess all these properties. It has been blessed with mountains, glaciers, rivers, lakes, world's best plain fertile areas, semi-arid areas, plateaus, deserts, jungles, coastlines, mangroves and many things. So Pakistan luckily is the country which contains everything. So the mountains, the rivers, they all together make the climate of Pakistan. That in term of climate, if we find, when we find scorching heat in Balochistan and Sindh and in the Othal Desert, we find at the same time the congealing cold and snowfall in Skardu, in Himalayas, Hindu Kush and other mountains. Around the year the peaks are covered with the, the snow. These mountains also save the people, save the lands from the congealing winds from the Siberia and the Central Asia. These mountains produce the water which run the life throughout and produce food and also uh, produce variety of wildlife flora and fauna mean different kind of trees, plants, herbs, weeds and much more. Cutting the long story short, the regions, topographical regions are divided into, means we can divide Pakistan into these areas the Himalayas mountains, Hindu Kush, Balochistan Plateau, Salt Range and Potwar Plateau, the Indus Plain, the Third Desert, plus the climate of these all regions. Dear students, it is very much necessary to learn all these attributes from 
from the map with the help of map so let's try to have the physical map the students as a note of hope a note of reminder you must understand that Pakistan has issued survey of Pakistan has issued the latest official map of Pakistan in which Pakistan has claimed all those areas which Indians had taken illegally it includes primarily Jammu and Kashmir Junagarh and Manavadar Sir Creek and some other regions which Pakistan had lost due to the conspiracy and illegal possession of Indians well this is another story we'll discuss it in detail in some other videos but our major is that whenever you are talking about Pakistan with the help of map so use the map <coughs> delivered or designed by survey of Pakistan well we were talking about the mountain range well Pakistan within its borders and territories has world's highest and most spectacular mountains these mountain includes Himalayas clear Kurakaram, Hindukush, Koi Suleiman, Khitar, Salt Range in Punjab region, and the range in Balochistan and the areas of well north mountains in the north these mountains in the north part of the country the Hindu Kush mountains along with the Kurakram range is the part of the Himalayan mountains the students Himalayan mountains actually is a huge abode of mountains the highest mountain range that start from Pakistan if you start from Pakistan and then they stretch into India including, Lad including occupied Kashmir Ladakh area then it goes to Hamachal Pradesh then Nepal and so on till Bangladesh they are the highest mountains and in these mountains world's first mountain Mount Everest and the third mountain on the Chinese borders is included they they are the highest mountains and these mountains uh, produce plenty of water they are spectacular beauty they provide natural beauty plus the wildlife and flora and fauna to these countries well uh, these ranges have a large number of peaks ranging from 6,000 to 8,611 meters from the sea level. Uh, in Pakistan, Pakistan is lucky to have almost five peaks over 8,000 meters mean 26,000 feet and 101 peaks over 7,000 meters mean 23,000 feet 
from the sea level within the radius of 180 kilometers mean 112 miles well a careful estimate is that almost 13 of worlds 30 of world uh, 13 of world's highest peaks are in Pakistan the tallest peak of the region of the Kurakaram range is K2 the Mount Godwin Austin the second highest in the world with 28,251 feet Naga Parbat with 8,125 meters mean 26,657 meet feet in the Himalaya and the Tirchmir in the Hindu Kush region these regions include the Chitral, Gilgit and the other regions and it is the highest mountain with 7,690 meters. Well, the Himalayas can be divided into three minor Himalayas, middle Himalayas and the highest Himalayas clear highest Himalayas I have told you that the greatest Himalayas uh, mean the minor Himalayas are 600 whereas the highest Himalayas are 4600 meters high means they are the highest mountains Quest Faith Range uh, have an with the average height of 3600 meters and these areas of Waziristan they include in the Quest Faith and Koi Suleiman areas that are between the Balochistan Plateau and they are not I mean the average height of the Koi Suleiman mountains of the 600 meters and takht e Suleiman is the highest peak with 3487 meters and then Balochistan Plateau as you know that Plateau is a land with uneven surface there we find the Raji areas mixed with desert sand and other areas clear so two plateaus exist in Pakistan Balochistan Plateau and second is the Potwar Plateau. The Potwar Plateau and the Sa uh, Balochistan Plateau is located west of the Soleiman Khetar Mountains. It is the western part is dominated by a number of parallel ranges Makran Coast 600 meters and the central Makran range 900 to 1200 meters the highest peak in this area is Rasko that attains a height of 3010 kilometers the students Blochstan you know constitutes over 47 percent of the areas of Pakistan and these areas are full of natural resources 
So, here we find the mountains of Chagi and others where Pakistan uh, observed the nuclear tests. Clear. There is also mountain range across alongside the Makran coasts. Fine. So these mountain range are very important. Uh, next is Potwar Plateau and the Salt Range. The Potwar Plateau and Ra Salt Range are located to the south of mountainous north clear uh, of the Indus plain. The students uh, let's have in brief let me divide you the topography in five lands means these areas including Kashmir, Gilgit Baltistan, Chitral, KPK, Waziristan, Koyta, these are the mountain drains. Fine. Kashmir and the affiliated areas like Ladakh and Ovo, they are included in Himalayas mountains. Whereas Gilgit Baltistan, Skardu, Hunza, they are called Korakaram range. Clear? And here is the Hindu Kush mountains. Clear? Then there are also the mild, minor Himalayas, little Himalayas like the these areas of Islamabad mountains, they are also included in Himalayas. Here their uh, latitude is less. Where uh, there they are uh, not very high. But as they reach up the other areas, their uh, height increases. Fine. Under the feet of these mountain regions are the plains. This is called Indus Plains. They are called Indus Water System. Clear? One is called Upper Plain and is called Lower Plain. The Upper Plain includes the Punjab regions plus its tributaries and the, and the next is Sindh area. They are called the other regions of the uh, Sindh. Fine. Uh, Indus River is the is the major water resource in Pakistan along with its tributaries like Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi and Satluj and Bias. Although later on after partition, three rivers were given to Pakistan and the remaining others were given to India. Well, the Balochistan Plateau remain a different land. It is includes in mountains, also rivers. They have also some of the water reservoirs and then comes the uh, the coastline almost over 700 kilometers. These coastline areas also have the deep mountains. They have the very say clear in sense of shipping and others. So, these are the major areas. Let us have another the climate. Climate is called the overall effect of the uh, overall effect of the season. The highest mountain areas they always cold, they are covered with snow. Fine. The lower areas, they are semi. As the snow falls on the mountains, these areas become uh, 
say cold, uh, sorry cool, but later on when the scorching heat occurs, these areas become hot. But these areas like the Balochistan Plateau, middle area is desert, there is a huge desert in Thar and also the desert in Sindh, Mithi, these areas become extremely hot and accordingly uh, the life in deserts and the highest mountains is very challenging. There are quite less resources and government should provide these areas with facilities. Thank you very much.